my fucking car right now. So she is making her op- like her appointments. She is here. Her obligation, she's here. She makes them. In a car or not. <laughs> Definitely. So, so that, um, to your point, like, how would you... How would you recommend people set up a schedule or just that mindset that you have about being consistent? Well, I've seen a lot of people, you know, a lot of people have come to me, friends and whatnot over the years and saying, oh, you know, I want to try camming or I want to do this or that, but I'm not really good at it. Can you tell me, like, can you give me some help? And I'm just sort of like, well, what's your schedule? And they're like, oh, I don't have one. I'm like, well, you know, you have to think of it kind of like a, almost like your own TV show. Um, so, and it's also a job. So would you, would you go into a job and expect that you're not going to have a consistent schedule? No. Like the first thing you do is you figure out what schedule is going to work for you. And when you're actually going to show up, maybe some things are not going to work out so well for you and you can change that. That's the beauty of having your own schedule. But I think it's, um, when you're self-employed, it's really easy to not stick to the mm-hmm. schedule sometimes if you don't want to, because you're just like, oh, whatever. It can wait. They can wait. I'll see them later tomorrow. But people people need to know. They sort of like, it's almost like a, they establish a sense of trust with you, mm-hmm. like that they, they know what time to find you. They know when you're going to be around. And when you are offline, like you break that trust a little bit, even if it's for a good reason, like being sick or anything like that. I can honestly tell you that even just one day of me having to cancel, like, you know, the the next time I go on after that, it might kind of be crickets because people are kind of like, oh, you know, they get like cats. They're like, oh, it's you. You're back. Like, oh, whatever. I'll come see you when I'm ready kind of thing. Like, it's very weird, but like, you know, and I can see some of you guys like smiling and nodding and stuff like, but that's kind of how it is. Like, people want to know that you know, you're kind of like theirs for this certain amount of time or whatever. And if you don't show up or if you're not consistent about it, they don't really establish that close to the, of a bond with you. And especially when you're new, I feel like a lot of guys are less willing to part with their hard earned dollars. If they think that you're just a new model, that's going to come and disappear after a couple of weeks, because a lot of models do that. So it does yep. take some time to establish that trust and, one of the best ways to do that is by keeping a consistent schedule. Could not agree more. I absolutely, I love that you're using the word trust. And I mean, Minnie's over there being like, yes, you were speaking her language. Like it is a relationship business and all everyone else is, it is a relationship business and you have to be there for sure. And it is like a TV show. If people don't know when to find you or where to find you or that you're even coming on later, they're not going to look for you. So developing that tipper trust so they know they'll be there they where they can find you that you're not just going to disappear they will be more likely to tip you because they know they can come back and find you again models disappear all the time and people don't want to throw their money down an empty hole so don't let them feel this way give them some assurance reassure them that you're going to be there i think these are excellent points and now to Miss Lexi Luna, who's going to give us some tips on breaking the silence. Oh, I'm sure right. everyone here has had issues with the crickets. You say some shit and then nothing. Yeah. How did you do it? Um, so when I, re- when I first started camming for Cam Soda, which is still my current platform, um, they denote the high tippers with like a little emoji or something next to them. And they show up first in your list of people that are in your room. I made sure to, to talk to each one of those people, even if they never said anything back to me, I would at least call out their screen name and say hi, because that's a good like five minutes of me being able to play with their name. Or maybe they have a fun name. Like one of my guys, his name is Coco Butta. Like you can't say that without making a comment, right? So just like, and that, those types of things show your personality. They show, uh, you know, that you that you're seeing them. That you know, that you're you see them and they're special, and you're calling them out for being special on the site, which makes them be like, oh, okay, let me send this girl some tokens. So that really helped me at the beginning. Um, people who were big tippers, denoted by that special status on the cam site, were the ones are still the ones six years later that are continuing to tip me and I call their silly name out every time and I always make the same comment and they love it. So